hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today in this video we are going to learn about data driven in qgis uh, you might have learned about that in arcgis and uh, today in this video we are going to learn about data driven that is a atlas setting in qgis so that we can down okay we can export as many as uh, maps uh, at a single time so you might have a hard oh, level or uh, municipal level data okay so you want to download or export uh, all the map of a uh, individual wards of a municipality you might have many wards uh, as much as 10 to 12 or up to 15 or 21 so you want to download uh, the same similar theme map uh, of all at a single time you, know, you can do that using uh, data driven function in QGIS or there is an atlas function in QGIS uh, so that uh, it will be easier for you okay in this uh, video uh, let's get started with the video okay in this video I have a municipality uh, of Vijayanagar uh, rural municipality the data through Vijayanagar rural municipality and it has got seven words I want to download all the map of this individual ward at a single time. For that, what I will do is I will uh, first of all add the layer. And uh, in this layer, you can see I will go with open attribute table, and it has got ward ward as an attribute. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So what I will do is I will go to project and then go with new print layout, <laughs> and I will. Uh, name it as a map so what I'll do is I'll go with page properties and I will uh, uh, make this as a4 and then landscape will be portrait okay so what I will do will I'll first of all add the map so you can see here uh, it is a add map option and I will add the map okay it will take some time to render the map because i have used open street map uh, background layer uh, if you don't know how to add open street map and background layer i have a separate video on uh, using uh, qgis to add osm background layer you can see on my description also it has got the uh, link to the video and you can visit that link so i have got open street map background layer this is uh, cycle osm and what i will do is i have <coughs> to first of all uh, create a map for individual ward so for that i will go with you can see here there are option layout item properties guides and atlas so what will i do is i'll i'll go with atlas and i will generate an atlas so for the coverage layer what uh, are you going to do is you have you have to go with the uh, safe file that has got the boundary of words so i have the bjnagar safe file it has got the boundary of words and what i will do is i will go with filter okay not filter i'll go sort by with word okay you have to do this option and then what i will do is i will go with item property and here you can see or an option named control by atlas okay so i will click on this and then margin i will uh, go with around 10 percent feature so it will add extra 10 percent feature outside the boundary so after that <laughs> you can also uh, give your predefined scale or fixed scale you can create the uh, scale same for all the maps and then i will click on this option you can see a top so you can see after this you can see uh, this uh, one uh, one number one is shown here similarly when i click this it will show one number two one number three one number four five six and then seven okay in this way you can 
uh, use data driven or atlas properties and after that what you have to do is you can add all the details like uh, the north arrow i'll add the north arrow here okay i'll add north arrow here and then you can also add a scale for your a scale okay so where is the scale a scale where is the scale okay so you can customize a scale okay and the number of units okay so when you <laughs> change the uh, map uh, your e scale will also be changed you can see you can see so make it small okay don't need five i need i can make it up to four and then when i change it will also change okay so this way you can make your scale also okay two is i think sufficient okay after that you can add all other thing also you can go with i guess frame and anything and you can go with the title also you can add the title from here you can see text and then what i'll do is you can directly print also using printer or you can first export so i'll export this as uh pdf okay so close and then map uh, where i'll do that i'll go with pdf and then you can see all those export as vector uh, you can see this uh, option i'll save okay it will say, take some time to export okay yeah it is saved in this location okay so you can see map of here <coughs> when i open you can see in pdf you can see all map you can see all map in the same pdf okay up to seven so in this way you can use data driven function uh, you can say uh, atlas in ugis so like this video uh, gives a thumb give me a thumbs up in the video and uh, if you have any problem you can write in the comment section and also subscribe to my subscribe to my channel uh, for further videos like this thank you very much